Hi there, this is a video on SPSS and in this video I'm going to show you simply how to enter data um, and how SPSS presents that data to you, how to do a couple of simple manipulations of the data, uh, and how to open and view existing data sets. Uh, the first thing to note is that when you open SPSS and you're looking at a data sheet, uh, it looks like a regular spreadsheet. It is not. There are some uh, features that differentiate this from a spreadsheet, um, in particular that you can also view the data. Uh, in, you can view the data in two ways. The first way is this data view, which is the default view, where you see your individuals or your observations down the left-hand side, one row for every individual, and the variables measured on each of those individuals across the top. This is, of course, a blank spreadsheet, so we'll enter some data momentarily. The second view is variable view, where each one of these variables across the top uh, are represented by a different row in variable view. And once you're looking at the variable, you can look at the, the name of the variable, the type of variable it is, the width, the decimal, and the label for the variable. We'll uh, take a look at what that means momentarily. To enter data, you simply can select any cell you would like in the spreadsheet. You typically would want to start with a particular variable for a particular individual and enter uh, numbers simply by typing them into the, into the field. You can proceed to the next cell by pressing enter or by simply pressing down uh, to the next cell. And the, th the couple of things to note as you enter data, um, SPSS automatically selects an appropriate format for the data. I've started entering numbers, so it has decided that I'm doing a numeric variable. It also decides on a convenient width. Um, if I had entered uh, many more uh, decimal places than this, it would have given me an alternate format based on that first entry. Uh, we can modify that format, as I'll show you momentarily, but you can also modify the name. Right now, uh, SPSS automatically gives a first variable. We start entering this name, var00001. In order to change the name of that variable, you can select the column and double-click on the variable name, and it automatically jumps to the variable view uh, of this data set, where now you can see that we have one variable that's named var00001. It's a numeric variable, since the first values I started typing in were numbers and it has automatically selected um, the default numeric value to be a width of 8 with two decimals. If I had required a width of greater than 8, I would have to come here and modify this to capture data in the uh, billions or, or with an excessive number of decimals or have simply entered some very large or very small numbers right at the beginning. The uh, typical thing that you would want to do um, is uh, change the name of your variable to something meaningful. So you can actually just edit this cell in variable view and call this something meaningful to you in your data set. In this case, we'll, we'll say that this variable means people's heights. Now when you go back to data view, you can now see that that variable is called height. Now to enter another type of variable, and this time a character var variable, we can come over here and start entering text you can enter new numbers or text into your variable type. It is uh, completely up to you. But ensure that you realize that the type of variable that you are creating will be created um, as soon as you enter the first cell for that variable. An alternative would be to come to the variable view and actually select the type here. You could have selected string, um, numeric data, any other data type in it before you started the typing the data in and it would automatically accommodate that data when you went to type it. One thing to note is that as I mentioned the variable type and the size is defined as soon as you started typing that first variable I the first value I entered was Mike and it's decided that I only need a character, excuse me a character string of four. If in fact I wanted some much longer names I would have to come over here and modify the length to be 12 and now you can see the width of my string variable or character variable is now 12. Uh, so I want to call this something more important or more meaningful, and I'll say that that means name. So now you can see how we've simply done data entry, and you can enter any number of variables and any number of rows uh, to suit your particular purpose. A couple of rudimentary data manipulations are available simply by right-clicking on your variable. You can select either variable, and right-click, and sort your entire sheet by that particular variable. You'll notice differently that from Excel, when you select a particular column, the row assignments remain the same. So the Janine will always have a height of 578, regardless of whether you've sorted by name or by height. So this is an important feature of this that differentiates it from a natural spreadsheet. So now I'll show you what happens when you open 
uh, existing SPSS data. This is going to be data from the Monitoring the Future study uh, in 2006, and this is a, a substantial data set. And you can see that it has many, many, many rows and many, many, many variables. And in this case, it's sometimes more convenient to look at the variable view when you want to look and see what all of the variables mean because the variable names that were in this existing data set were not very informative. They were just V150, V151, and so on. This is where the label feature comes in handy. You can come down here and see that this variable 150 means respondent's sex, or variable 49 means number of siblings, and so on. So you can scroll around within the data, you can sort by your columns, but opening an existing SPSS spreadsheet um, is uh, very convenient, but not always informative. You then, however, can come in and edit your variable names even on spreadsheets that you uh, have opened. Uh, just remember to save them when you're done.